Alright guys, so today I'm going to be showing you a really cool card trick involving the two jokers and a shuffled up deck. So let's go ahead, let's say we mix up the deck a little bit and you can, what we can do is have the spectators say stop anywhere. They could say stop here. And this is going to be the first card, let's say the seven of spades. And we can go ahead, shuffle up the deck one more time and have another card selected. So let's say we go through, we can pick this card. So in this case, I've already signed this card, but let's say we have the three of hearts and the seven of spades. What we're going to do is mix these two cards up into the deck. So let's say I take the three of hearts, we put this into the deck, and we can cut it a few times just to make sure it's lost. And then we'll shuffle it up. And then what we're going to do is take the seven of spades, cut this into the pack as well, and then shuffle it up. And at this point, let's say we have the two cards shuffled up into the deck. You can take the two jokers off the side. What I can do is snap my fingers, and what we should have is your first card, the seven of spades, trapped in between these two jokers. So if I show you, you have joker number one and joker number two. And what we're going to do here is place your card back into the middle, but this time face up. So if you were here, I would let you cut the deck. You can put that into the middle, and this way it's going to get lost. And then one more time, what we can do is actually take these two jokers, snap the fingers and as you guys can see the seven of spades jumps back up to the top but what I'm gonna do here is let's say I flip the joker over again and I'm gonna leave them off to the side like this what we should do if I snap my fingers again the seven should come back to the middle as you guys can see it's still face up so then over here what we should have is a card trapped in between the second selection the three of hearts so this is the trick guys hope you guys like it and if you want to do it don't forget to stick around for the tutorial all right, guys, so this trick is called Club Catcher. Um, the only downside is that it does require a gimmick, but it's not really too difficult to make or anything like that. So um, what you want to do is make sure you have two jokers, and what you could do is super glue or tape um, a card so this way it's face-to-face, -face, and then you want to make sure you have a duplicate of that card. So let's say we have the two cards. Let's say we use the seven of spades. It doesn't matter what it is. But you take the card, in this case, let's say the seven of spades, you super glue it, you tape it, you have the gimmick, you have the two jokers off to the side, you're making sure to have the double back card on top here, and then you have the duplicate on top of the deck. So to start it off, you could casually just shuffle up the deck, making sure to leave that seven on top. And then what I did was a slip force, so I'll leave a link for that. All you do is force the top card on the spectator, and let's say in this case we have seven of spades so it's just the top card and then you have them pick another one as well make sure to do the same exact force you did before um, just to make sure that the trick looks consistent and what I think I have here is actually duplicated oh, it's not so here we have the ace of uh, diamonds here so it could be any card um, in this case we have the ace of diamonds so the second card like I said actually doesn't matter so it could be you could have the spectators pick it um, you know from the middle of the deck but you want to make sure you stay consistent so from here you have two selections you have the spectator or you actually take the spectators first selection you lose this into the middle of the deck first but then you just bring it back to the top i'll leave a link for you guys so you guys can see some different controls you move the first selection back or the second selection to the top first and then here's the first selection this is the one that you forced what i did was i just put this on top of the deck and then did a false silver cut and said i'm cutting it into the middle but in reality, it's still right here on top. So I'll leave a link for that as well. And then you could ripple shuffle it, making sure to keep the two cards on top. And then um, at this point, all you do is take the two jokers and say, look, so I'm going to take these two cards, these two jokers, okay, because your cards are lost in the deck. And what you do is you make sure to square them up with the deck. That way, when you flip it over, that seven isn't going to flash. So you take the two jokers, square it up with the deck, flip it over, snap your fingers and you can say look your card is actually moved in between the two jokers now at this point what you want to do is as you're telling them that you know their card has moved between the two jokers you're just doing a three count reversal you square the entire thing up and say look I'm gonna go ahead and flip over the top joker and all and as as you're just saying that you're pulling down the bottom card with your pinky you're saying look I have one joker two jokers so now with, with this card their first selection in the middle you say you know what you take it out you put these on the uh, on the table you can have the spectators cut the deck anywhere they like and you say look I'm gonna lose your card into the middle of the deck so I can't touch it and then one more time you pick up the two jokers square them up at the deck 
flip it over, snap your fingers, and their, their card is actually going to jump back up to the top. But this time, this is actually going to be uh, the double backer card with the Joker. So the card stays in the middle, and from here, you kind of just square it up, and then you do your double lift again. So you go ahead and you pry the bottom card off down with your pinky, flip it over, and then you show them. And now what you do is you take this packet, you put it in middle grip, and all you have to do is peel off the top joker with your thumb and say, you know what, well, if your card's in this packet, you square it up, I'm just going to leave the two, the two jokers off to the side and say, well, then your card must must not be in the middle, right? But their card still is in the middle, so you say, you know what, let's go ahead and look at these jokers again. You go back to the jokers and spread them, and you show them that their second selection is actually in between here. So this is the end of the trick, guys. I hope you guys find this useful. Um, and as always, thanks for watching.